We have come, do not speak low. We are here, Father, speak none. We are here, we have come, Lord. Oh, speak low. We have come, speak low. Adona, oh, speak low. We have come, Nadi, speak low. We have come. Eternal Father, the King of all glory, the ancients of thee, the everlasting Father, the covenant keeping God, the one that knoweth the secret of every human being. Precious Father, I pray this morning what you are revealed to me. Let him begin to manifest now. Oh, Holy Spirit, I pray this morning. Let this morning be a glorious morning again. Precious Father, I ask you, Lord. Lord, you said signs shall follow them that believe. Let the signs follow your children right now. That are hearing my voice all over the world. Father, that at the end of this morning session, Lord, we will have the call to rejoice. Therefore, immortal and invisible God, we invite you, Jesus, to sit on the throne now. We invite you to sit right now in our heart. Lord, our ears are open. Our heart is waiting to receive. Lord, speak your word. Lord, speak your word into our life. That at the end of this morning session again, Father, who we have the cause to enjoy. Blessed be the holy name, because your word is the lamb. Let the lamb of your word generate in our heart this morning. For you be the magnifier. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. In Amen. Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers, good morning to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to really appreciate the God of heaven who has been your strength, my strength. It has not been easy for you and I, but God has been making it so easy for us because he has been with us. On that day, he told Paul, he said, my grace is sufficient for you. But the Lord is speaking to you now. He's no longer speaking to Paul because Paul has returned back. I want you to know that the grace of God will be sufficient for you to run this journey. That the devil will not be able to bring you down as you have yourself to God. God will begin to do his work. The little, little things you are seeing those trials of, of your feet. I want to tell you those things are coming to make you stronger, to make you stronger. And I tell you, God will not fold his hand to allow Satan to destroy your life with all those things you are seeing. I pray that God of heaven will help you and I to really follow his way. As we follow his way, it will begin to bless us. We move forward because of the time. Let's go to the Bible where we stopped yesterday our, of our breakfast. Let's, let's be fast. In the book of uh, Galatians, chapter 16, uh, chapter 5, we are taking it from verse 19. Who can remind us what was our topic of yesterday? Who can remind us what was the topic of yesterday? 
who can remind us what was the topic of yesterday? Characters of walking in the flesh. Eh? Characters of walking in the flesh. In the flesh, yes. God bless you. That is like somebody went to go and check before saying it. I believe that all this message, we should let him begin to sink into our heart. To really check. Now we are still in the same, the continuation of what? Character of walking in the flesh. Are we there in the book of Galatians? Please, because of my other time. Yes, sir. To, please, let's go there. Take it from verse 19. 19 to 21. Now, the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seduction, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revealings, revealings, and such like of the which I tell you before as i have also told you in time past that that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of god yes god bless you and uh, how many numbers do we take yesterday out of these things that are mentioned how many do we take yesterday adultery and fornication we take adultery and fornication. And uh, the next we are going to follow now is uncleanness. After uncleanness, we will take it number by number for us to really see proper and check our life whether all these things, they are inside us. And if all those things are inside us, I tell you that there is a need for those things to be purged out away. Because these things, you can see at the end, he said, I tell you before, as I also told you in time past, that they which commit such things, they are not to work, they will not hurry the kingdom of God. Please pay attention, you that is talking there. The message is on, you are talking there. Pay attention. Now, we look at that uncleanness. What does it really mean when we say uncleanness? Uncleanness simply means following the decision or the point of having, of having, of not having shame of not having shame, of doing anything, anything you like. Things that others are doing, those things that are irrelevant, that does not please God. But the Christians are still doing it, or cleanliness. You want to, you want to, you want to dress, you dress anyhow, but because of because of this is the latest today that are in the world. Let's look at uh, in Second Corinthians chapter two, chapter twelve, verse twenty-one. Second Corinthians chapter twelve, verse twenty-one. I hope uh, nobody is sleeping. Please, I want us to open our Bible. We are going to read many scriptures this morning to see all these numbers that we mentioned. Are we there? Nobody's done yet. Okay. Can and and least when I came again to my God, my God, you humble me among you, and that I shall be with many wish which have sinned already and have not repented of the uncleanliness and fornication and lasciviousness, lasciviousness which they have committed. Yes, do you see that? 
that they have not repented of those things they have done. They refuse to repent for all their error. They refuse to repent for, those, for all those things that are not giving glory to God. Things that does not make God happy, say yes, right on my son. Those things, they fail to repent. Are you not seeing today churches are bringing religions, tradition to the church, God forbid, bringing tradition into the church. But the church refused to repent for all those tradition. Traditional dressing, that is what we are going to dress today. Friend, in the church, bringing tradition into the church, wow, I pity you. Now, we move forward to see the other point that's talked about, the fourth point that talked about the idolatry. Idolatry is a terrible sin today that are killing out of 90%, out of 100% of Christians, 90% are dying because of this idolatry. Idolatry of worshiping of spirits. Idolatry of worshiping of what spirits, of worshiping of husband, of worshiping of wife, of worshiping of pastors, of worshiping of a person, or grieving image, trusting in any person, putting trust on a person, or, or things have what having, having a great authority, authority than God's word, things that and things like people that are in authority, you you are now what you are now worshiping them more than God. You worship somebody because you want to get involved from God. All these are idolatry. You fear me more than God, my friend. You are in trouble. You fear pastor. You now obey pastor. The pastor is telling you now. You know, there are some pastor that is telling you now, you don't need to wear pants again. You just need to come and dress anyhow. And you, you follow them. You worship them. When, when you read the Bible, you see the Bible, you say, no, my pastor said, I should do like this. My friend, you know what you are doing? You are an you are idolatry person. That what is in the Bible, you are no longer following it. You are not following what that person is saying. That that person that said, the devil has put rope upon his neck like to die his car. All these are idolatry. But this, this scene of idolatry is killing many Christians today not to come to their true knowledge of God. Idolatry is because of my wife. Idolatry is because of my father. I really serve God. That is a sin of idolatry. Brothers and sisters, we must escape the sin of idolatry, respecting human being more than God. I, did, I, I see people a few days ago that say they are Christians. This Jezebel daughter, I believe if, uh, if you have seen it, you can answer me. This Jezebel daughter sat down and put her leg inside the water of a bowl that everybody will come and bow down and take for that water, whether they will use it, uh, use as she's washing her leg inside there, they will come there and dip their hand and use it, whether to hold themselves. Have you seen that kind of video on social media? Have you seen it? If that person is, a, she calls herself a pastor. Have you seen it? Uh, the one I see is uh, the man was inside the boat, bathing himself inside the water. People were rich, they would take the water and drink it. Oh, okay, that was another person again. Uh, and, uh, this other woman. My brothers and sisters, God bless you. All oh, these are what idolatry people. That you are not, you wash 
there, there is yes, and there is another person, another man. But I believe that is, that is what the sister is saying now. That uh, whether is it panda, I don't know what is using to rob, uh, to rob herself and uh, rob itself, and the people will be taking the water. My friend, all these are idolatry. But you and I need to be free, free from this idolatry. Let's read in Colossians chapter 3, verse 5. Colossians chapter 3, verse 5. Are we there? Are we there? Colossians yes, chapter sir. 3. Colossians 3, 5. Mortify therefore your members which yes. are upon the earth. Yes. Fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and conventiousness, which is idolatry. Yes. Now you can see that key them before those things will key you. You remember, we took time yesterday to analyze this mortify, but we will not go there this morning because your eyes have already been opened. You are no longer in bondage. Don't with me. In the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, we are going to read from the, uh, Ephesians 5, 3 and 5. Ephesians, please, let every, I want you to open your Bible so that we will read it together and see. Because the problem we are having is that making people, the problem we are having is that many people fail to open the scripture. Because of that, pastor is talking, you don't know anymore whether what that person is saying, whether it's true or not. You have been deceived. Read it there if you are there. Ephesians 5, 3 and 5. But fornication and all uncleanliness, all covetousness, let it not be once named among you, as becomes sent. Verse 5. For this ye know that no Womonga, no unclean person, no convert, no convertious man who is an adulator has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Yes, God bless you. Mark the word. Such people have no inheritance. If you involve in all this category, you have no inheritance in God's kingdom. But for you to have inheritance, please. What is the meaning of inheritance? Who can tell us what is the meaning of inheritance? What is the meaning of inheritance? You know, when a father died, you, you know, go ahead. It's God's promises. What God promises us. What God promises us. You know, you know that, God bless you. You know that uh, when people lost their father, they will tell them, the children, they need to share their property. Am I right? Eh? Those are the inheritance. They inherit those property from their fathers. As some we inherited land, why some we inherit company, so why some we inherit houses, all these are inheritance. But we have a great inheritance that God has promised us. The inheritance of what? Of being with him in heaven, where thief cannot enter, where there is no sorrow, where there is no tears, where there is no pain, where there is no, no work. But if you did not work, if you did not have all this inheritance, if you did not have this inheritance, you will have the inheritance of those that disobey him. The inheritance that you will go and join the Satan that rebel against him. Remember, you were not there when Satan rebel against God. Then why will you not go and Lord suffer for what you didn't do, the sin you didn't commit? The evil you didn't do in heaven when Satan and without the one head of angel that rebelled against him, you were not there. But the Lord prepared her for this, for this Satan. He didn't prepare her for you. Then why will you not, because of this things, go there and suffer and suffer and suffer? Friend, let us have the understanding. Glory be to God, we are no longer anymore be in glory. God is open our eyes day by day for us to know what he's telling us. 
That is, that is, that is on that. Now we move to the fifth point that say witchcraft, e.g., sorcerers, black magic, black magic, worshipping of uh, worshipping of demons, worshipping of demon and, uh, and and spiritual accessors. All these are what are, are against the will of God. But there are people today that are still worshipping all those things that are a church. Now, let's look at the book of uh, Exodus. Exodus chapter 22. Let's read 18, uh, 8 and 18. Exodus. Are we there? Exodus chapter 22. Yes, sir. Go ahead, please. Thou shalt not suffer a wish to live. Whosoever lieth with a beast shall no, surely be put to death. I said 18 and 22. Okay, sir. Thou shalt not suffer a wish to live. 22. You shall not afflict any widow or fatherless child. Yes, he said, we shall not suffer a wish to live. And uh, that is what the Exodus chapter 22, verse 18 told us. Now, we are going to move also Exodus chapter 8, verse uh, 18. Exodus 18. Are you there now? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Exodus 8, 18. And the magicians did so with their enchantment to bring forth lies, but they could not so that they were lies upon man and upon beast. Yes, God bless you. If you still if you still go for that in verse 19, said then the, uh, the magician said unto Pharaoh, This is what the finger of God. And Pharaoh's Pharaoh's heart was hidden, and he hearkened not unto them as what as the Lord has said. You need to see this. The magician, but today many Christians are still going to all these magicians. Many Christians in Europe, in America, in Asia, in Nigeria, in Africa, they are still going to, to them. They saw things has put us in bondage. But all those that commit such things will not what, have inheritance in the, in, the, in the path of God. Now, because of the time, I want us to really see all this message in different, in different or because we have been reading this Bible, but we have not really been coming to this aspect to really take all these things, this, all these characters, Different, different characters. Now, who can remind me what is the, the, the next number? Is number is a six, hatred. Am I right? Eh? Yes, sir. Yes. yes sir. Somebody, you hate somebody without no reason. You allow Satan to what to put that hatred there. That a, a woman you marry, you hate that woman. Now you are because of little thing that you are not seeing that woman as a wicked woman. Or oh, the husband you married. Have you not heard of how women have killed their husband? Have you not heard how husbands have killed their wife? Or oh, have you not heard of how children have killed their father? Today, what is happening in your country, Nigeria? Yahoo, Yahoo. Yahoo, a young, a child, will not just carry their mother. Carry the father that suffer for them, that suffer for this child. It will say, Father, you need to die so that I will enjoy money. Why? Satan so that hatred there. And the child begin to see the woman. This woman, you are being my problem in life. You are the reason why I didn't progress. 
strength. You, we need to have the understanding that this hatred can cause somebody pain in, in, in eternal life. That you can be in church, so you allow Satan to sow hatred inside you. That, for instance, as we are in this group, that but look me that don't do anything. But look me that don't do anything, that anything at all. You allow Satan to, because you hear I preach. Yes, every day by day, you are preaching against me. You are preaching against what I'm doing. You allow Satan to just, you just hit me without no reason. You never called me to say, brother, look at what you did. This thing, I was not happy. You allow Satan to sow that hatred. You just hate me. You decided not to talk to me. You decided even though you have matter, you have any problem, you will not bring it to me, but you want to join the program. My friend, it's a lie. You can't get any blessing for this program. Why? Because there is a, a man under authority for God. You need to, you need to what? You need to say two things with me. You need to say, brother, look at it. You need to confess your sin. Confess that hatred that are inside you so that you can what? You can get your, your blessing. Have you ever seen a somebody that has saying, Father, I'm against you. But the person you want the father's blessing, you can get it. This hatred has caused the whole world terrible thing. You can see people just wake up and hate Christianity. What are they doing? They are firing Christianity. They say they want to wipe away Christianity. But can they even wipe away Christianity? They are killing Christians. They are always after Christians. That is, they allow Satan to sow this hatred into their heart. Friend, if you allow Satan to sow this hatred inside you, nothing your husband will do that will be that will be that, that you will be happy with anymore because this hatred is there. You are not looking at your husband and he just choke this man, man, and die and he marry another person. The only thing I will do, I will go to prison. My friend, don't do that. That is Satan himself. He's talking to you. Don't look at your husband or your wife as what as a wicked person or your mom. It's Satan that, that is doing those things. He wants to make sure that he separates you away from the woman that carry you for nine months. After carrying you for nine months, he nurture you. Some of you that are giving birth now. You can testify. If you need to give birth for three months, you are doing all night. You are a wash, a wash woman. Your eyes like this because the baby will not sleep. But how can such a woman, friend, the only way which can trouble you is only because you, give, you have given your life to the devil. If I give my life to Christ, my friend, I is a lie. Satan, he cannot, which is a waste. I cannot trouble me. Why? Because my life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, my life I be saved. Now, before you can kill me, you need to first of all tear God. You will tear God. You will bring out Jesus. You know that. And then if you succeed to tear Jesus, and that is where you can penetrate me. But if you cannot succeed to do this, you cannot penetrate me. That is why in the book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 4 says, greater, that, greater is in me than him that are in the world, because Christ is me. Friend, if Christ is in you, that is, if they tell you right now that is your mother is trouble you, you say, okay, no problem. Let's watch and see whether my mother have life, have authority over my life or God. You don't need to hate your mother. You hate that Satan, that is that Satan that enter her. A Satan, you hate that flesh. My friend, don't hate your mother because of those things that is doing better. I want to tell you, if your mother is the one trouble you, your mother will die and you will enjoy your life. He says, so far no wish to be alive. I need to have the understanding. Praise the Lord. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, yeah. we look at the, the point seven. Talk about the point seven is what? Is it point seven or point six? Verses. Okay, verses. Yes, verses. Okay. Now, let's look at that proper to see what does it mean if we say verses. Let's look at it in the book of a, a somebody, it is a person, eh? you have decided to begin to be wicked. You have decided, let's see so that you understand what we are telling. Let's read it in Romans chapter 1, verse 29. Romans chapter 1, verse 29. Are we there? Are we there? Please, let's open our Bible. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Go ahead, sister. Be, okay. Be filled with all unrighteousness, fornication. So, take it one by one. Take it one by okay. one. You can say, say, be what? Be filled with what? With unrighteousness. Are you seeing it? There are people that are being filled up, that they are in church, that they are filled up with things. That does not represent God. They are fed up with eyelashes. They are fed up with makeup. They are fed up with what? We're doing competition in dressing. <laughs> if on Sunday, if I'm going to if I'm going to church on Sunday, hey, G, G and G back. <laughs> if I if I arrive, <laughs> everybody will be looking at me. Because God has revealed now, it is my time to what to show the pepper that dress past dress. These are your priority. I'm talking about dress, my friend. Face of this world. Feed up with okay things. With things that cannot add value to your, to your internal journey. Sister, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You. Okay. And um, fornication. Yes. Wickedness. Yes. Conversiousness, yes. Maliciousness, yes. Full of envy, yes. Murder, mm -hmm. debate, yes. Deceit, yes. Malignity, yes. Whisperers. God bless you. Do you see that? Do you see all all these things? If all these all these things be with somebody, these are the things you are carrying for years. <laughs> these are the things. Somebody that claim is a Christian, you carry all these things on your head for years. You carry it in your life. But Jesus Christ is calling on you and I want to help you so that you will be free. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. Hey, my friend, there is a need of what? Of change. Wickedness. In the heart, I didn't know. I did not say, Pastor, with wickedness. Pastor, today will not go and be false of their sick. Any power we will not go and kill human being to bury it in the altar just because of his own personal interest. My God, Pastor, wickedness, families, wickedness at enter. That wickedness has entered people. They see you are progressing. The next thing they are looking for how to bring you down. Wickedness. But when Christ is in you, there is nobody can bring you down because you are the apple of God's eyes. Praise the Lord. Yeah. We will not go back. You can go and read in 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Verse 11, eh? my, time, my time is over, my God. Let's look at um, ammunition, ammunition. Ammunition is envy of another, another sources. Envy of another sources. Envy of another person's sources. You see somebody is sources, you are envying the person. You never pray, Lord, if you can make this person success, 
God make me success. You envy that person. You hate that person. Because of that, you are keeping malice for that person. Because of that, you don't talk to that person anymore the way you used to talk to the person. Friend, don't have that, that in you. Brought, e.g., anger, violent words. Let's look at uh, in uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 8. I want to see if by God's grace so that we can finish this, uh, this part. Colossians chapter 3, verse 8. So that they will not go anywhere. Colossians 3, verse 8. Yeah. Says, but now ye also put off all this, this anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communications out of your mouth. Yes, God bless you. Filthy communication. You know, many people, they are Al Jazeera, Africa Al Jazeera, CNN. My brother, there is a need for you to tell the Lord, Lord, brush my teeth. My teeth is dirty. If God brush your teeth, you can't talk anyhow. If God brush your teeth, brush your tongue. Hey, God, love my tongue. I carry a virus. If God brush this your tongue for you, you will learn how to use it to talk. Because if you are not careful, your tongue can take you to hell. It is something very important. This anger, anger have caused a terrible troubles in the world. So I begin to, you can see the anger today that are in America. You can see what it have caused. It has caused America pain up to today. It is, it is still going. The anger of killing one person time ago. But we can see what the anger is causing today. Brothers and sisters, God will help us that all these things will not, uh, will not be in us. Strive. We are going to look at that, e.g., unrighteous, un, uh, unrighteous seeking, seeking, unrighteous seeking, power or post. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 20. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 20. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 20. Yes. Says, For I fear, lest when I come, I shall not find you such as I could, and that I should be found unto you such as ye could not, lest there be uh, lest there be debates, envy, envy, rot, strife, by biting, whispering, swelling, swelling, tummy, tumult. Yeah. God bless you. Do you see that? Let there be no such things among us. Strive by batters. Today, these barbatas have caused a lot of damage in the church. Are you a sister? You are a barbata in this group. You are here as a brother. You said you want to go to heaven. My friend, you are making a terrible mistake. You are sowing evil seed into people's heart. That you have anything with anybody, you you didn't really go and um, settle with that person. Or you hear what the man of God said. Say, <laughs> did you hear what the man of God said today? If you are the one who will talk, he will just use you to talk. Friend, I want to tell you. You all, you see people that are, have the truth that God has called out. But your own is what? You always say confusion to the people that are listening to that, such people. But the Lord is telling you change so that you will not have trouble with God. Sedition, sedition, e.g., having a teaching that does not support the standard of God, bringing out teachings. 
teachings that does not stand according to the foundation Christ has built. You know that there is a foundation that the Christians must build on. There is no any other foundation can any man be laid. Any pastor that is not preaching the message of eternal life, the message of repentance, the message that will take people away from sin, bringing them to the glorious foundation Christ have laid with his own blood, such teachings are what are against the standard of God. We read before in the book of, uh, um, okay, we are going to see in the book of Romans, chapter 16, verse, uh, verse 6, verse 17, sorry, 17, let's read 16, 17, Romans 16, 17, so that we really got it over there. I want us to. Romans 16, 17. Yes. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offense, offenses contrary to, contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. God bless you. Mark the word. He said, now I beseech you, which is I beg you, brothers and sisters, mark them which cause division. Those pastors that cause division away that cause division, cause you to separate away from the foundation of Christ. People that are in church causing division. People that are here causing division, that don't want follow the teaching, mark them. That are not living according to the teaching, they are going teaching on other things, mark them. Such so people, you should mark them and do what? And avoid them. Why will you avoid them? Why did he ask us to avoid them? So that they will not sweep us away from the foundation we have been following. There is a need of marking them. Heresies. Heresies. Division within the congregation. Having a different group. Causing destruction. Destroy the unity of the church. Destroy the unity of the church in First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse nineteen. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse nineteen. First Corinthians eleven, verse nineteen. Said, "For there must be also heresies among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest among you." Yeah, God bless you. Do you see that? There must be what heresies among you. But you should not be that person. You should not be that person. Such people that are causing division. Today, they see the way we are going. Before you know what happened, we tell you right now. No, I think there are a lot of, there are people like that. I, there are people like that. They will go away, they have been with us. But they, they, they came in a crafty way, little thing we rebuke them. The next thing you find out they open their own group. There are groups on social media, people that don't have foundation, solid foundation. Let's be very, very careful. Let's be careful of who we are listening to. Check of that person. Go and pray, Lord. Who is this person? Is he really your child? They can pray, they can be, they can be teaching about holiness. They can be praying a prayer. They will start prayer for morning to night for, uh, for two, midnight to six o'clock. Friend, does it change anything? You follow somebody that have error, you will have the error. Let's look at the other point that say envy. Hmm, envy. Envy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Disliking of another person who has something, who has something that one desire, envy, envy. See this one, buy a car, you envy the person. This one, beautiful flat, you have no view, envy have car. Husband and wife, <laughs> husband and wife, you know that I'm among you. 
Let us not envy our wives. When we say God is blessing them, they are doing something. What they are doing is for our own children. You should be happy. Yes, God is blessing my family. You see that your wife is building a house. Don't never envy her. Why did you not give me the money? Why are you building the house? Don't do that. If you do that, you have put rope upon your neck. You will, you will die soon. Don't envy her. It's your wife. Did you not pay her diary? Is she doing all those things for her family or for the sake of the children that God has given to you people? Is, is she going to finish that building? You will say, nah, daddy, my father that are there and she have children. We say, father, I dash you. She can't do that. Don't envy her. Be together. Join her. Plant things with her. Today, because of envy, the, the man is planning his own. The wife is planning her own. The family has been divided into two. No more unity anymore. Envy. Envy that this one have married, I have not married. The nice thing, what are you seeing? I marry anybody that comes. You marry one chance and cry one chance. Envy. Wow, somebody buys shoe. I need to go and buy that shoe. Maybe you don't have that money. You will go and borrow money to buy shoe. Wow, what a pretty life. Let those things not be in you and I. In Romans chapter 13, verse 13, and 1 Corinthians 3 3. Read first in 1 Corinthians 3 3 before we go to Romans 13 13. Are you there, sister? This way. Yes. Romans, um, 1 Corinthians 3 verse what, sir? Verse 3 3 3. For ye are For ye. For ye are yet canna. Yeah. For whereas there is among you mm. envy mm. and strife and mm. division, yeah. are ye not canna mm. and walk as men? <laughs> you see there. Walk as men. But we should be mature Christian by now. We should not be amateur. I was telling my sister, I said yesterday, I've been there before yesterday. I say I saw this pastor who was supposed to be a mature pastor, but I'm seeing him is a mature pastor. And the people that is pastoring, all of them will become amateur Christians. Because he failed to do what he's supposed to do. Because he failed to stand as a pastor. And because of him, people are not speaking on pastors. Read Romans 13, 13. Husband, don't be amateur husband. Wife, don't be amateur wife. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in ruffling and drunkenness, not in chambling and wantonness, wantonness, not in strife and envy. Yes, not in strife and envy. Let us walk honestly this time. You see somebody, God has blessed the person with document, don't envy that document. If you envy that document, you may say, hey, sister, brother, I am happy for you, but you are envy that person. My friend, it will not come to you. You will not get it to Or you see somebody, somebody, God has blessed somebody with the fruit of the womb, and the person carry baby. Now you, ne you never, you, you, have, you, you, God have not reached your tongue. And now because of that, you envy that person. You envy that person. You say, hey, I'm happy for you. It's a lie. Not with all your sincerity. Friend, change your way so that you can get your breakthrough. We talk about drunkenness. Drunkenness. People that are drunk in alcohol. They tell you that alcohol, you know, pastors have deceived people. Tell them that alcohol, uh, you can drink, but don't drunk. My friend, these are fake things. Remember, they say, Bible said, do not drink one, but fill with what? Fill with the spirit. There is a need for that. We will not have time to go there because of the time. Uh, Lavilliousness, la, 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 e.g. Um, 
okay, e.g., having sex or like like any other things, we will not have time to begin to defend or uh, define all these things all anymore because of it. Uh, I've taken your time uh, already. My brothers and sisters, we need to know that all these things, anybody as a child of God, if we have this character in us, you check the many, they are 15 characters. If you have all these characters, you see your neighbor, your neighbor is progressing, and then you are envy your neighbor. You are going to Juju to bring that neighbor down, my friend. You are the one that will go down. That old Juju will not work. That old Juju will not work. I told you people before where I was staying, where I live in Pini. In early in the morning, after we finished morning prayer like this, the woman came to knock my door, and the woman collapsed there. And before I opened the door, the woman ran out. And uh, it's not auto two weeks, the woman pack out uh, with the husband. And what is for showing them? If you come with any evil motive to meet any child of God, eh? hey, my friend, remember the Bible makes us to understand in the book of um, in the book of um, I, I read a place for you. In the book of uh, Psalm 91, it said it says something. Psalm 91, it said. He that, he, that dwell, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. If I am the shadow of the Almighty, will Almighty hold his hand to allow you to come, my friend? Don't, it's not every child of God you should, you should, you should temper with. Any sincere child of God that is working for child God, that is doing everything, that is trying to do everything to live a holy life. You come to touch that child, my friend. He said, you are the ample of God's eyes. Who touch you? Touch the eyes of God. Friend, you need to know there are things you are missing. Why have you been missing all this? Because of this dubious character that Satan has sold into your heart. But right now, you can check all this loot. Be in you as a child, you say you are a child of God. You are not a child of God. This morning, bow down your head and cry to God. And tell the Lord, deliver me. <laughs> Remember, he said, the works of the flesh, the characters, the characters of walking in the flesh. All these character keys, this character can destroy. This character can make children be useless because they inherit it from you. You can't give what you don't have. It is what you have you are going to give. Don't let that wicked blood be upon your children. Don't show that blood. That blood of telling lies. That blood of smoking. That blood of what? Giving your wife, bro. Bro. Because of she didn't give you the little money, that paper. You give up, bro, and your children are watching you. Or oh, you are insulting your husband. You are, you are, you are, you are a Christian. You have not married, but you are, you are, you are a, a master in liar, a master in deceiving. You are a master. This morning, you can bow down your head and cry unto God. Tell the Lord, our eyes are open. You know that it's only 